to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Abraham Lincoln. Ooh, how presidential of you. Well, it's a presidential day, Jabes. It really is. Why? Uh, They started impeachment hearings today. Oh, I thought they already did that. Yep. Nonsense. (laughs) Total nonsense. I thought they already started that. I feel like every day it's like the starting of it. Nope. Okay. Nope. Um, it, it just doesn't no, no everybody's going to say nothing and scream at each other and there is nothing that's going to happen with this. Therefore, I'm not going to talk about it today. Cool. What I find more egregious is this. Yes. The sexiest man alive. Uh-huh. What you reckon? Who would you say? Oh, did they announce it? They did. Come on. If you can guess Think of the hunkiest. I mean, we're oh, joining. Oh, boy. We are joining the ranks with The Rock, Chris Hemsworth, yeah. Idris Elba, George Clooney, mm-hmm. ba- Brad Pitt. I mean, well, who would you think could fit right up in there with all of them? Is, has Momoa been on there? No. Okay. So it's not That's Momoa. That's a good guess. Yeah, he's like he's Momoa, dude. We get it. I think he's somewhere in there. You know, they have the sexiest man, and then it's like sexiest man with long hair and sexiest man at any age yeah. and all of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure he's in there. Yeah, uh, he's got to be. But if you're going to think of just like the hunkiest hunk right now, right? right. I, I In shape. Yeah. Manly, right? Would have gone with Momoa. Yeah, definitely. And probably not John Legend, right? Wait, what? You probably wouldn't have thought of John Legend, right? Is, that, is this fucking real? It's real. You're kidding. I'm not kidding, and I am outraged. Oh my god! <laughs> if you would have, if you would have just put a fucking picture of an alarm clock on the cover of People and said, "This is the sexiest man alive," he is a fucking snooze fest. That guy. He. They could have pick, put a picture of a plain bagel, not toasted. Wow. Not toasted plain diet bagel. Diet cream cheese cut with like a butter knife, yeah, right? Diet cream cheese. Yeah, a real light jagged. whipped. Cream cheese. You're kidding. That's not real, is it? That's real. Is that? I, I'm going to have to fact you check You could have put a picture of SPF 100 sunscreen. Jesus. I'm going to have to fact check this, actually. This is okay, so shocking please. that I don't believe it. Well, you know how much I hate. No a, way. You know how much I hate a Tegan, right? I hate a Chrissy Tegan. She snuggled up on the couch with him mm. and... And everyone's loving her fun tweet. What are tweet. we doing? What was her fun her tweet Her fun now? tweet was, my secret is out. I have fulfilled my dream of having boned people's sexiest man alive. An honor. Well, she also boned my best friend from college, so do I get anything for that? Which one? Chris. <laughs> I, I didn't I'm know you were just going to say it. I am. And you know why? Because okay. he's, he's single now. He's single now. He's still killing it, by the way. Still killing it. So- you Looking know. good, feeling good. Yeah, uh, back they, in the states, is he? Yeah, back in Great. the states. Um, he will. I think he'll be there for the the game. We're going to Ohio State, Penn State. I'm excited but, to uh, see yeah, him. He bon- I haven't he seen that Chrissy little uh, back in the day. That little back when she was hound. just a, a fitness model on Instagrams, right. right? And they were doing fitness stuff together before. Now, uh, she did was she a ever playmate. work out? What's up? Did she ever work out? Yeah, she used to look totally different, by the way. Um, did she have like muscles and stuff? Yeah, huh? super toned. Oh, yeah. Chris doesn't put up with that shit. Um, you know what I'm saying? Right. You've seen the girls Chris dates. Yeah, definitely. Super in shape, all that other stuff. So, sure. uh, yeah, does Chris get anything for that? Or do I get anything for that? Well, my best friend boned Chrissy Teigen. We don't get, I don't get nothing for that, huh? No. Shit. No. Shit. Maybe I can put a, a fun tweet about it. Yeah. Just put post up a, a picture of Chris. Put a fun tweet and just be like so real. And, and just be like, hey, your husband boned, or you boned the sexiest man alive. My husband or my best friend, bone the wife of the sexiest man alive. So why don't you tweet that back at her? I know you two love to um, tweet back her. and forth. I hate her so fucking much. Um, I, and you, you know what's weird about this? Because I didn't know this at all. So you're catching me 
You're catching me in like a fucking mood right well, now. And you it's like great. To, <laughs> you like, it's actually great. You like to research real news and then I like to um, just no, I, go look, through what people are talking I about. I find this every bit as important as real news and I'll tell you why. <laughs> I'll tell you why right now. You have this bullshit impeachment thing going on, which Again, nothing is going to happen with that. It's starting every right? day. Every day they're starting. It is not going to affect anyone's lives or the president or anything in this country whatsoever heading into the next election. You know what is going to affect people's lives? Putting this gangly, yep. skinny, fat, beta Moderately bitch. talented fucking snooze fest on people's sexiest man alive. Mm-hmm. And it... it it says a lot about our culture. I no lie. So before you said this, I was gonna say, all right, who is the weakest beta male I can think of right now? And I, man, if Beto wouldn't have dropped out, I would have said Beta. They probably would have gave it to him. I was this close to saying that, but I was like, ah, he dropped out. I'm not they gonna say that. They don't usually give it to people that aren't in the entertainment industry. So they have never you know, give. If, I don't there, think if there was a time to do it, because I think they gave it to JFK Jr. once. I mean, so he's not in the entertainment industry. He was a little bit. He was on the fringes. He owned a magazine. He was. He would much more. You know, he much rather. So is Beto. <laughs> he has a magazine. He's on the fringes of entertainment. He's oh, not a real politician. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but John Legend, my God, man! It's just a sad path that we're going down. That's all. Because Sucks. then it's like we're finding people like that sexy. Yeah. Sad. How do you how do you how pass, do you pass on Momoa, dude? Momoa. Because like I'm been. I'm looking at this he picture. I'm looking at this picture of uh, him and her all tucked up on a couch. Him and Chrissy Teigen all tucked up on a couch. You know what I want to see? Hmm. Momoa and, and fucking Lisa Bonet Oof. on a goddamn couch together. You want to talk about a sexy couple right there? The two oh, of them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bangers, dude. Give me some bangers. Um. And not only that, but he's just doing it all the way around right now. I talked to one of his best friends last night late. Uh, I got so many calls. Who's best friend? Sorry. Uh, Momoa's last night. And we actually oh, yeah, talked yeah. about him last night. Um, I got so many calls from people I haven't talked to in years over running for those, the New Hanover Cavani That's school right. board thing. I was up till like 2 in, in the morning just taking calls, and it was awesome, man. I Everybody was... I think the, the reason why this story resonates with so many people is everybody's going through it across the country, and I didn't know. I, I guess because it's, it's not talked about or nobody can really do anything about it. With this many people that listen to the show, I can, sign, and I don't give a fuck. Um, the other th- the thing about it is there's actually a radio host that is running who is getting sued because he has a huge radio show, and the, and the FCC apparently is like, you're not allowed to run for an election with a, a, he's got a, a show on Sirius XM, mm-hmm. and um, God damn it, I forget the guy's name, but they've been doing the free so and so all week um, with this guy's name, Matt Jones. Um, free Matt Jones is his mm-hmm. name. I don't know what he's running for. I don't know anything about him. I just know his story because it's. I, I was wondering. I looked in it for mine, and I was like, eh, am I going to get flagged for this? So we have so many listeners. Six point four in Drinker Bros. One point eight here. No, because I am not on Sirius XM. Podcasts oh. are free. I oh, am not okay. owned by a corporation. Right. Therefore, I can do and say whatever the fuck I want all goddamn day long, and it's amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can't stop me. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Anyways, the phone calls I got were amazing, and it was from people I have not talked to in years where it was just like, holy shit. And everybody was like, man. And they all shared their story of what they were going through in their own small hometown and, and why they were thinking about running. And it was one of those things where – you know, I saw some of my friends do it last year from high school, and I was like, all right, if they can do it, I can do it, I think. Um, and then you just need that push, and then you end up doing it. Uh, one, one friend last night was talking about Momoa, you know, um, okay. about uh, uh, what he's doing in his career and how he's, like, helping other young filmmakers. And, uh, like, he was helping this other guy last night, and I was just like, God damn, dude, what a stand-up dude. Like, Momoa is just yeah, a rad guy. he is, like, really like nice, a good guy dude. behind the yeah, scenes yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah. And he told me the story about how Momoa was helping these young filmmakers um, uh, with the Apple show. And, you know, he's got his own show on Apple, too. Oh, okay. It's coming out. That. Yeah. Uh, it's coming out in December. And uh, I was like, man, what a rad dude. So when you said sexiest man of the year today, I was like, you know, Momoa would be a great one. It would be. He does a lot. He's married. Or, yeah. In a great relationship. Like, 
again, I'm, I don't know him personally. Um, he's one of those guys. He is shooting all over the world at all times. So like, yeah. we have mutual best friends. Um, but the guy is that's one of the busiest dudes on the planet. But um, all of his close friends for years and years and years say he is just the most stand up, family oriented dude, and just you know is is rad. So it would have pleased my heart to see somebody like that on there. And instead, what do we get? Jabes, we gotta. You might as well have just put a cardboard box on the cover of this. Oh, I mean, and we're dating back to like I'm just looking at all the sexiest man men alive since like '85. This is insane. Yeah, do you have a list to that? So I have a list. Okay. Where do you want to start? <laughs> start, start, go, fire away, go with all of them. I mean, and I'll just give you a yes or no whether I agree. <laughs> whether you agree? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I have no problem saying a we'll dude is a pimp in this life. We'll start at 85. Fire away. Mel Gibson. Got it. Done. Get it. Especially in 85. Come on, man. He was doing it. 86 is Mark Harmon. Uh, Mark, oh, so, so Mark Harmon at the time. At the time? I look at him now and CIS. Okay. And all that shit. I mean, okay. Or what was it? Jag or whatever he did. Like He holds up like Tom Selleck holds up. But back in 86... He was the man. Um, there was a movie called Summer School where it was just like every girl wanted him from that. He was a daddy back then. Really? Still a daddy now. Yeah. Check out this movie, Summer School. It's one of my favorite comedies of all time. It's about a loser teacher who gets all he wants to do is, is party with his girlfriend and go on vacation. He's a teacher at this school, like a PE teacher. Mm -hmm. And they're like, no, you have to teach summer school. It is one of my favorite comedies ever made. And that was that was that era. Harry Hamlin. Uh, L.A. Law guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Married to the yeah. girl from uh, mm -hmm. Real Wise. I, I get that. All right. Okay. Now now we're getting to John F. Kennedy. You're right. Yeah. Nailed um, it. Sean Connery. Boom. Tom Cruise. Of course. Swaz. Swayze. 91. God. Patrick. Damn it. Swaz. You know that I love oh, Swayze. Yeah. This one I love. Nick Nolte in 92. Oof. That's a... Nick Nolte uh, back in the day, no, dude. Uh, no. uh, 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 you gotta go. If you're no, gonna no, say no, 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 if you're gonna say Nolte, you've got to go 82, not 92. 92, he was daddy. Yeah, good enough damn for it. me. Good enough for me. You I'm know, into you love it. my one word Nick Nolte impression. God damn it! That's I do it. love it. That's all I do. 93 is interesting because it's oh, they did a sexiest couple. Mm. Dumb. Cindy Crawford, Richard Gere. Wow, that's pre gerbil too. That's right. Pre gerbil, man. Pre gerbil Richard Brad Gere, Pitt. though. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Brad Pitt, Denzel Washington. You bet. Clunes. Yep. I agree with all of those. Ford. Harrison? H. Ford, yeah. H. Ford. If you're going to give it to <laughs> H. Ford, go fuck. Go back to the. I'm with. Same with Nolte. Go back to 82 with that. Yeah. I mean, 98, he was definitely like. It's a little late. Daddy time, it's kind of yeah. like giving somebody an Oscar, you know, after the fact. Body of work. 99, we went straight gear without the the Crawford. Well, that was posturable. Yeah. Oh, I hmm. wouldn't have done that. 2000, Brad Pitt. Yeah, you could look, you could give it to Brad Pitt every year and I'd be they fine. They did. It. <laughs> they gave yeah. it to like three years. Uh, fine. In a row. Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. 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 Ben Affleck. Sure, at the time. Sure, at the time. Johnny Depp. Obvi. Yep. Jude I, I'm Law, surprised he wasn't welcome. on there in the 80s. Yeah, exactly. You go back to 21 Jump Street, Johnny Depp, and you're fine. Oh, yeah. Jude Law, McConaughey's. I'll give it to, yeah. Uh, Jude Law is good. McConaughey, obviously. We go Clunes again. Daddy time in 2006. Yeah. Double winner. All right. We go Matt Dom. Hmm. Matt Damon, 2007. I, look, great actor, great dude. Not the best looking human. No. Oh, Goodwill Hunting though he was but, but, my but, but, boy. Right, but that was ninety six. What time? Of, what what year was this? Two thousand seven. But it definitely carried him really far over this finish line. Body to, work to now. It's a body of work. Yeah. Now I tell you, uh, uh, mm. he's a dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Through yeah. and through, he's a dad. Yeah. But that Goodwill Hunting, uh, sex appeal. Yep. Essence. Sure. Took him really far. Yeah. Really far, farther than it should have. I will say. Yeah. Um, Hugh Jackman, 2008. Come Hugh, on. Hugh Jacks, I'm fine with. Yeah. Like, great looking dude. Um, 
Yeah. Boy. So 2009, we go Johnny Depp again. Of course. Of course. Ryan I'm Reynolds. Fine with that. Fine with yeah. that. yeah. Coop Dog, 2011. Fine with that. I love it. I'm fine with Coop. Channing Tatum, Obby. Chris Hemsworth, yeah. Obby. Yeah. David Beckham, you're welcome. Oh, he could be every year. Yeah. Dwayne Johnson, Blake Shelton, Blake, Idris. Now, okay. People I'm were, a, people were gonna... pissed about Blake Shelton. So yeah. people were pissed about Blake Shelton in kind he's of the a, same way. He's a Matt Damon. Great guy. Rad dude. Actually, they were more pissed that he wasn't a great guy. So after they, after his nom in 2017, uh, was they it the Miranda Lambert looking, thing? No, they kept bringing up all these tweets that were uh, racist, homophobic, all of this kind of stuff, which is his brand. He's always been on brand and kind of like funny and like a bumbling hillbilly and doesn't know all this yeah. stuff. So I don't people were more pissed about that than him actually being sexy. All right. I don't, know. I, I don't have a problem with that. Idris Elba, Uncle Corny, but you would never be able to tell until you Idris hear him Idris Elba talk. in real life, though, is fucking awesome, dude. I, mm. pr- I promise you. Just meet him. I, he's the best. I, look, I get it. And his whole shit, he's great looking and the nicest, most charming human being on the planet. I get Edge Yourself. I'm I'm on it. I'm with it. Okay. Who else? That's 2018. So. Oh, and then now. From we're going, Idris we're Elba going black to black. To John Legend. John Legend. Ugh. In what world are we living in? God damn Anyways, it. Anyways, that you know that was a big segment on people's sexiest man, but you know. When you, it's just a sign of the times, and I don't. It is, and when you so when you let me ask you this: when you pick up a hardcover of the magazine, do they give you one of those uh, portable cream cheeses to go with it for the plain so for you the just plain bagel? Smear it all over that before you eat the magazine. Yeah. God damn it, this guy sucks, man. And look, yeah. I know what you're saying at home. He's an EGOT winner. He's won an, an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a whatever the T stands for. T- what he got yeah tranny tony That's tony it. whatever tranny tony tranny um i am uh, is just... he got or almost he got i guess he's no he, he's, he, yeah. he's one of them he's one of them all uh look the oscar i'll give him good for him i like that song but he's his... like a big baby man he just looks a... like a big <sighs> baby man to me it, it's just boring he's a little baby boy man snooze patrol snooze patrol yeah like in like cops go out on real patrol. John dial Legend's tone. On snooze He's a dial patrol. tone. Yeah. Like in if, if he had to drive around on snooze patrol, it'd just be a car full of sleeping bags and isn't ghost that, bed pillows. Isn't that weird that people in a probably now or in like ten years are not going to know what a dial tone is? Do you remember dial tone? Oh yeah, yeah. That's what he is. Landline yeah. dial tone. We don't have those anymore. Name a John Legend song real quick. Crazy time, crazy times with you. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so here's I don't know. Here's the way. When so, it comes on, I know, and it, they're catchy. It, Look, here's the thing. All right, name a Michael Bublé song. Uh, frosty, frosty time on the in the Christmas. Yeah, I'm sure they they've all had Christmas albums, right? Yeah, yeah. I same thing. They're both they sell records and do shit. I don't know one song by them. I just know that when it comes on, I'm like. Oh, fuck. Am I in an elevator? Yeah. Did I press the... I'm on eight. Can you press eight for me? John Legend's on. I, I, I must be in an elevator. Can you press eight? Look, Buble, though, to me, is a way more interesting person and performer. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I get down uh, with the Buble. No, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, these, are, these are two in the same... Two peas in the same oh, pod. Okay. These fucking snooze patrols. I'm... Uh, I'm all done with that. God damn it, man. Remember when he uh, tried to retire, Buble? Yeah. His people were like, uh, excuse me? No. You will ruin Christmas. Yeah. And uh, we <laughs> need you in Vegas. We need you uh, to make our family money. Put out a like, new album uh, a year later. I really later. like to spend time with my family. And they're like, nope. Nope. Sorry. Not going to do that, friend. You'll have plenty of time to do that when you're dead. Sorry, brother. Um, That's what I say. I can have fun when I'm dead, right? Yeah, you can. <laughs> but sleeping you always is say it. now. Sleeping is now. Sleeping you can have is fun now, when you're and dead, I'll have Jays. fun when I'm dead. <laughs> you sure will. You sure will. You sure will, you little idiot. Uh, I want to talk about somebody that uh, John Legend worked with, um, Kanye. This, I believe, I called 
uh, the the devil works hard, but uh, God damn it, Chris Kardashian works harder, doesn't she? Oh, what happened? Kanye is doing a Sunday service on Sunday. Chris Jenner. Yeah, okay. you know, I, I I'm sure she put this together. I am positive she put this together. Guess who it's with? The what? The Sunday service. You know, oh been yeah, 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 yeah. Who's service? it with? Who's it with? Joel Osteen. It's going to be televised live from the fucking Osteen shit. But that's so weird because that takes it from this. Money, um, brother, money. No, but that takes it right into the real religious realm. Mainstream. Whereas um, this album before that, uh-huh. you could kind of be like, okay, he's like tapping into some stuff. He's taking us to church. It's, you know, great. This takes him into the mainstream televangelist. It like. takes him into the money, the fucking money, man. I uh, look, man. I'm not a, an Osteen fan to begin with. Uh uh-uh. uh And you know, we all remember uh, how he helped the people in in uh, Houston, Houston by yeah. locking his church, mm-hmm. his mega church yep. that seats what thirty five thousand or whatever it mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it might be the Astrodome actually, but um, there's like a oh how- boy. How Joel Osteen prepares for the for the hurricane or oh, whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. It's him it's, locking the door. It's just yeah. Yeah. Um, so you're gonna have the two of them together. I, look, if you're not familiar with this world, this this televangelist world, my God, is it full of cash and full of ratings? Now you're combining Osteen and Kanye. Forget it. Forget it. Mm. It's gonna be the biggest thing of all time. Mm. It's going to be the biggest religious ceremony of all time next to the who is the pope riding around. But that you have sealed your yes, fate. I agree. You have completely, which he loves to do, I agree. is alienate a large portion of his fan base and just be like, fuck you. Well, if you look at the numbers, now this is purely numbers, right? That's all he looks at, too. I, and I'm sure that's all Chris Jenner. Or uh, Kardashian. Did she keep the Kardashian? Yeah, she kept the Kardashian, right? I don't know what happened because she was Kris Jenner. And, and then, then, yeah. Well, uh, we're just calling her Chris. Whatever. These um, days, the Kardashian sure mom. If you she's... look at the numbers, right? Mm-hmm. There is more Christians buying music than oh, there is normal look. people. And uh, look, business wise, that's with everything. Whew. That's movies. Oh, yeah. That's. TV shows, that's everything. That so everything. Um, you uh, have to wonder with someone like Kanye what his real motives are. And that's always been my, from the very beginning that you told me he was doing these Sunday s- sessions, uh-huh. my first thought was, what does he have up his sleeve? What is he angling for? And what is he, what's he setting himself up for? Do I believe that he is super Christian all the way, like, down that path? No. But I think he always finds the money, and he always finds what's going to work best for him. Here's the real issue with it now. Wallet. To to me. You cannot go back. No. You can't go back, and you're going to alien. I mean... You can't go back to normal rap music saying, fuck you, I I want gold chains and whores. Can't. After this, because mm-hmm. then you're a fraud. Right. And everybody's going to be like, hey, man, remember those two years where you were a super hardcore Christian and found Jesus and sold all these gospel albums? You cannot go back to making regular music anymore. And that's what saddens me personally. Um, there is not another theory out there. I don't want to float this by it because this was new to me. And I was like, huh? He had signed a deal with Title and he's getting sued. Um, for exiting this deal or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is a very similar situation to the Taylor Swift thing where her catalog got bought out by Scooter Braun. She can go back and record the songs, I guess, but they've got to be different or be acoustic or something like that or whatever mm-hmm. to make money off of those original six albums. Mm-hmm. There's some weird loophole in it. Uh, there is a loophole in the Kanye thing as well where... They can, Title can keep all of his music, right? right? He could say that in the suit. Hey, man, you can keep all the music and you can play it and do whatever you want with it. Mm-hmm. However, I can re record it as long as it's different. 
And, you know, I read this thing online where he says, I'm no longer doing secular music, which is normal music. He's only going to do gospel. Okay. So, but if you come to see me in concert and you're looking for my old hits, they will be incorporated into the music, however, in a gospel format. So like Jesus okay. Walks, all this other stuff. I imagine he'll be leaving out the curse words, obviously. But he could be able to perform them, resell them, and not give the, the companies any money for them. So hmm. look a little harder on this one is, is all that I ask. Me personally as a fan of music and Kanye's music in particular, it sucks because, you know, I, look, I liked three or four songs off that album. Uh, I thought the rest was incomplete. Knowing now that he can't go back probably to making real albums anymore, um, rap, it sucks because it's he's the most inventive guy out there, mm -hmm. and he's always breaking new ground. And you know, even the gospel thing. Look, look, even that album was cr unbelievably creative and fascinating. And whether you liked it or not, it was a big swing. Yeah, <laughs> that no one does, and that's what he does. Now he can't go back, and and that sucks. Um, you know. Be like if Metallica started just playing acoustic, I guess, where you're just like, uh. not as many people would care, but um, maybe about <laughs> that as yeah. uh, but uh, it's strange, and I, I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen with this Joel Osteen thing on, on Sunday. <laughs> I have no idea, man. I, the, is it weird that I would actually tune in just to see what it's like? And I'm sure everybody else is. Um, it's on one of those weird networks that you never, one of those weird channels that you never go to where you're like, oh, what's on uh, 589? Ah, this, there's some, there's some church thing. I mean, I probably won't be, but um, feel free. I'd throw it on in the background and see yeah. what's going on. Um, obviously, if it doesn't interfere with uh, the NFL game. Right. Probably a nooner, so I think we're good, but, <laughs> uh, you know. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, yeah, that's you can't go back from that. No, in my, in my opinion. Mm -mm. So, <sighs> and he's a young dude, man. He's only forty-two. Jay Z is like fifty. Yeah. So like, there's still done plenty of that. albums and stuff. Jay Z's Jay -Z? not done. Like Jay Z's still pumping out albums. Yeah. Uh huh. Of his own. Of his own, and he just signed a deal um, where he has to put out like. Man, I think it's like eight more or something crazy. It was like a twenty or two or three hundred million dollar deal where he's got a tour and he's got to put out a certain amount of new albums. So look for him. Um, you know, a lot of people forget because it didn't do well. But that that Jay Z Beyonce album that came out like a year ago, remember that Ugh. thing? Uh, oh. So yeah. yeah, I saw this thing on the Mona Lisa. Oh, you're talking about the Louvre? Yeah. Go ahead. Where people are like, did you see this? No, I didn't see people it. People are raging and uh, put, signing a petition to get it moved mm -hmm. because it is um, like you can't get that close to it. And it's just he lines around the corner for and people taking selfies. Yeah. And it's just like not the experience that it used to be where you go and you're like looking at, you know. Yeah, Which at the isn't Lisa. that good of a painting, by the way. It's, I, I, I don't get the height. I, you and I are not art people, so we should really start with that. I like the Mona shit. Lisa, meh. Yeah. I'm just saying. I wouldn't go to the Louvre. Do you know what I mean? I like photos of real things and places. That's my more of my artistic jam. I don't like paintings of like, hey, man, sweet. Like the Mona Lisa, when I saw it, when I saw how big it was, and real, like mm -hmm. very small. Yeah, it's small, and that's what a lot of people are saying. It's small, and it's, it's the very, size of this Ben Affleck. It is, portrait. and it's it's set back really far. So the like the rope that you have to stand at, I guess, to see it uh -huh. is very far away from it. Whereas before, you could kind of get up a little bit closer, right. but with all these fucking idiots, yeah, tourist losers. So what are they gonna do? It's going to keep moving it back, and it's just like, hey. That or move it to its own, like, room that you have to 
take turns coming into because the experience of it is like people pushing people out of the way and being rushed and you get one second and like I don't know again I would not even I could see the look on your face interest in going to the Louvre I want to go once no no. I didn't go last time I was there I want to go once just to check it out um and I also want to go with you once just to see the look on your face of like Meh. Meh. I know exactly that's what you'd say. Meh. Well, I'm not a museum person. No, you're not. <laughs> uh, and I love that about you. That's one, of the, that's one of the reasons I married you. If I had to go, because we go to so many cities for work, if I had to go to museums with you in every city. I don't want to see anything like that. I'd reverse Epstein myself. I anything would ask to like be that. Told. The only thing that I'd want to go to is that guy's fucking uh, murder museum. In Vegas, mm. Zach, whatever. Yeah, Zach Baggins, the yeah. guy that he was the guy that bought the fucking. Yeah, that is shit probably the only you. place that I'll be. Like, Let's check it out, and I promise you, once I get inside, I'd be bored in five minutes. Yeah, I just th- I, I am a a weird combination of nostalgic and I don't care about what made anything what it is today. <laughs> I can't explain it, but like seeing like an arrowhead from like, you know, hundreds of years, like does absolutely nothing. For what if me. it's in your hand? Nothing. I'm telling you I nothing. Like I've done all of it. I like it. those things. I've I like historical it. I've things. I've seen them of like the pelts that they used to wear or the real thing. Yeah. Nothing. I like those. Th- I enjoy I mean, those things. Um, but, it, you know, somebody's got to hand it to me. I got yeah, a bunch no, of old Civil War don't bullets upstairs. You, I think those are cool. Right. Usually don't let you hold that kind of stuff, but. Well, you can buy it. What about those? Uh, we got a, we've got one of those Megalodon teeth in our framed in our house. Cool. I mean. A shark, it's a giant shark tooth. It literally does absolutely nothing for me. Okay. Nothing. Um, I'm glad I hung it in the center of our room there. It looks cool. I think it, artistically it looks cool to me, but as far as what it is and what it's come from, and oh my gosh, and the thing, no. Yeah, okay. Nothing. All right. Absolutely nothing. What gets you off? What, gets you, what gives you a wide on then? Um, old buildings. So decrepit old, buildings. Yep, is and, that's arch- what... and architecture. Okay. Like the architecture of the building itself? Yeah, if it was like um, kept in place. Like I love going to like an old town or something and they still use the old sign from when it was like. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The 50s or 60s and turning into like a modern thing, whatever. Old architecture I think is beautiful. Yeah, they don't do much to it, like either clean it up or fix little pieces of it. But that I could look at all day. If I like went to like, for example, France, you know, going to Paris. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go to the Louvre. I'd want to walk around and see all the crazy buildings. Sure. Like like the Notre Dame. (laughs) Kidding. That's burned down. (laughs) I think they're fixing it right now. Are they? Yeah. You stand around and watch those construction workers fix it for the next 20 years. Um, that's how like I'll do take. the leaning tower like picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Um, yeah, I think that I think that back. Well, the thing is, like, I think back in the day, we just built things so much better and we built them to last a really long time. Whereas now I think people build things to just like get it up yeah. really quickly yeah. and they don't really care about it going the long haul. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, it makes sense. And then food and wine, obviously. Right, 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 right. Why? Yeah, I, what I think gets when we you go off? To, I don't know. I think when we go to Paris, I'm gonna. Oh, am I going to Paris? Well, you're going to the Louvre. Um, and that's it. It's a one day trip. It's we a one day in. trip, and I don't get to do anything. anything. You blindfold me and take yep. me into the Louvre only. Congratulations! To we're the here. Mona Lisa only. We get into a cab Put and we b- go. <laughs> yep. On an airplane all the way back. Yep. Hours yep. there and back. Yep. Just for the Louvre. Two Z bars. Yeah. The Louvre. And then we don't do anything else. And you know what, we, just, you know what we do? We get the, the cheese plate from 
uh, American on the, Airlines. On the plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. we get the uh, barefoot wine that, that comes mm-hmm. with it. I'm like, and, mm-hmm. that was France. That was France, baby. <laughs> um, I put a beret on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Take pictures of me passed out on the plane. I bring she my went own to, baguette. Finally took her to Paris, right? From Harris Teeter. Mm-hmm. Because I know it's that short and it's just like, hey. Yeah. 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 Papa Americano. <laughs> Beep, 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 I think beep, that's beep, Italian, beep, isn't it? I don't uh, who know. Who knows? Who gives a shit? Who knows? I but I also hate touristy shit. So this thing that they're talking about, I hate when white people ruin stuff like that. So I do believe that there's lots of parts of Paris that are ruined by white people. Uh, Everywhere. Uh, immigrants right now, but no. But aren't they? When you went, did you ever? Did you different time? Different time. Yeah. Um, I mean, a totally different time where it was just like, like uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I don't like waiting, like waiting on line, a line that long to see the Mona Lisa. Like, no, like that's ruined. That right. whole experience is ruined. Right? right. Well, Jabes, here we are again. <laughs> I wouldn't kick it. Here we are. I'm, I wouldn't kick it out of bed. Got to get a photo with you in the Mona Lisa. That is my one goal in this and life. And just like, ugh. Yeah. And just like, uh. You guys, it's not a good painting. <laughs> she's seen better is what she's saying. She's seen better. Seen better. Uh, let's get to the sponsors, shall we? They pay, they pay for the show to be on the air. We shall. Your little man is crooked behind you. What? Uh, is that Koresh? No, dude, that's Jones, bro. Is it Jones? Yeah. I don't know my serial killers. He's not a serial killer. He's Jones. That's Jim Jones. Oh, that's Jones. Jim Jones. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, it's a nice, who's that? It's a pimpy picture of him. That's uh, B2K. BTK, yeah. BTK, yeah. Yeah, very good. I think uh, B2K is the uh, <laughs> young R&B group from <laughs> the early 2000s. Yeah, a uh, member them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if uh, Jim Jones slept on a ghost bed. A lot of other people did down there. Oof. You know he had a baguette on him. Yeah, goddamn right he did. He had a fucking hammer? Hammer, dude. Really? Who and said that? he put that? it in dudes and girls. Really? Mm-hmm. He had a huge hog on him, huh? Yeah. Who, how did you get the info on that? Um, I've seen probably every documentary on, ever made about I, I, Jim I, Jones. And usually the they don't town. talk about their penis size, though. Well, his a lot his thing was sexual dominance. Okay. So it had to be talked about. God. Because he used it. Used his dick. He used his hammer. Okay. <laughs> used his hammer. Used that baguette. Yeah. Um, and you guys talk about that too, like gay for dominance or whatever. Or what do you s- Yeah, yeah, fucking people out of dominance. Yeah, yeah, so that's what he would do. Yeah. Um with a huge yeah. Thing. Uh, I mean, there's, th- there's something that is coming up, in, and I'm not going to say what it is, but uh, yes, that is, a, that is something we do talk about as men. Okay. Well, we're still smack dab in the ghost bed sponsor, so I don't know and they deserve how every much single they would love. inch of this hammer of uh, Jim Jones that they're getting. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Get yourself a mattress, <laughs> get yourself some pillows. Get yourself some sheets. Get a cover in case shit gets weird. I had a weird episode yesterday of Drinking Bros. I don't know when it airs, but it's about threesomes. Jared oh. went all in. Oh, good. Yeah, Jared went all in. We we're talking about he definitely needs a cover for his ghost bed. Yeah. Uh, go to ghostbed.com forward slash Drinking Bros today. That 36 month page you go program is the best in the biz. And if you're uh, a man or a woman in the military or you were a man or a woman who was a first responder. You get 15% off forever. Scroll down to the bottom of the page. Click it, tick it, and rip it. Their Black Friday sales are coming up, and they are gangbusters, son. Gangbusters. Uh, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Next up, we got strikeforceenergy.com. Jeez. Boom, 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 boom. She blinkers. What? Man. Sometimes you want me to do it. Sometimes you don't. I caught you I don't thinking know what about you... that Mona Lisa Louvre. Gorgeous. I'm going to look up flights when we get off the air. Oh, my God. Please. See if I can get you there. Um, just need probably eight hours is all I need there in Paris. You know? In and out. Kill. 
you. So great to kill do. You, so kill great you, to kill do. you, kill you, kill you, kill you. I a, will kill you. I'm like, hey, I've got a three day vacation for us. <sighs> because that flight in is a day. The Louvre is eight hours, and then a cab to the back to the airport. That flight back is a day. It's just a three day vacation for you. At the Louvre. Can you and if you're going to the Louvre, you're going to need some energy, especially if the lines are as long as Jabe says they are. And there's nothing better than Strike Force. You can travel with that in every country. Um, we got a 10 pack, 40 pack, 750 milliliter bottle. Subscribe on YouTube if you're not a member. I'm going to hold up one of the pack- packages here. Packies. Then, packies. We got, <laughs> uh, we got new packaging here. Um, look at this. This is it. Tasty, tiny little tin pouch full of energy. Rip it open, squeeze it into any liquid available. This fits everywhere. Nobody's going to stop you at a game. Security, nothing. You're good to go. Now, if you're trying to get on a flight with a fucking can of Monster, you can't do that. No. So beef off. Um, This is no carbs, no sugars, and it goes into any liquid available. Man, I love it. And uh, LaCroix. Shorty, mix another vodka with a LaCroix. Put a little strike force in there. Get wet, dude. No carbs, no sugars. Last longer than five-hour energy. They ship everywhere in the entire world. They have a subscription of the month, which we've had for four years now at this point. Comes every month. Uh, shit's all over the desk. And then, uh, boom, the 750-milliliter bottles. Plastic. So you can drop them on the ground. Um, and you're good to go. Uh, Strikeforceenergy.com. Use the promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off. Great stocking stuffer. Coming up for the holidays. It's the middle of November, James. I know. It's already Christmas. Fuck. It's Christmas already. It is. All my friends have their so Christmas this decorations. this is Christmas. But yeah, as you know, I, I love Thanksgiving, so I don't like to gloss over it. I don't like, either. I like to give Thanksgiving its due because it is, to me, my favorite yeah. of the holidays. Yeah. So. And we'll, you know, put up some autumnal stuff, but why we don't have to go crazy? We'll get to, we'll get to this in a second because I, I saw something on Facebook that I wanted to chat with you about. Uh, but last but not least, we got straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut, smooth. Ooh. Oh, you're right. Yes. There it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shaving dwarf bushes since 1980. Um, look, dwarfs is, is dwarfs is 16. Yeah, the dwarf is 16. Straightrazors.com. No, you can use a straight razor. Promo 16, code that dwarf, that dwarf is 16. Dwarf is definitely not. <laughs> um, uh, look, kids, it's it's we're getting t- in, into Malcolm Xmas here, and uh, you got to get some shaving products uh, for that dwarf in your life, or if you're a man, you know, boom, shampoos. Conditioners, beard oils, mustache waxes, you name it, they got it. If you're worried of a, of a straight, like the straight razors, you can get engraved too. Uh, but if you're worried about using a straight razor, they get a safety razor. Uh, blades are fucking amazing, dude. They last longer. And uh, that's how I keep so baby fresh. Um, I didn't even shave today. And you can't even tell because I use this shit. Uh, go to straightrazors.com today. Get yourself a Kia. <sighs> nope. Promo code REVOLUTION 20% off. Jabes, I saw yesterday on Facebook one of my friends had a fucking full-on Christmas tree, lights up, stockings, everything. And I saw, I was like, I don't want to say anything. I I definitely didn't like the picture. Um, Right. I don't want to say anything either, but I I did sneak into the comments. And the comments said, hey, bro, not a little too early. Mm Mm-hmm. It's just, it's November 13th. That is too early for Christmas decorations. I am with you. I love Thanksgiving. Yeah. I love that whole, the, the whole, whole magic of it. The whole shit of it. Yes. The whole magic, the whole drinking, saying what you really feel, getting into fights. Living your truth. Living your truth. Yeah. Smoking a little <laughs> in the gay garage. <laughs> yeah. Yep. All the things. All the things. All the things that happen. All of the things. So Family. I, I, that is, if you're out there at home and you're asking us for advice on what's, uh, what to do here, um, as far as putting up Christmas decorations, we are telling you this is too fucking early. <laughs> Nobody's asking us for advice. And also, a lot of people are. famously, I don't care what you do. I do. I judge you. 
And I'm, I'm going to tell you this. Just don't do it on the outside yet. On my personal Facebook page, right? I have the ma- I'm maxed out. Um, super popular and famous, obviously. And uh, I've got 5,000 friends. Can't accept anymore. Can't have anymore. Um, I'm kidding. What happens is I end up using the word fuck a lot on there. And then I'll lose like 10 followers. So chances are you'll get in uh, at some point. But. Oh, they're just waiting with fucking Well, they, they are. Breath, and here's yeah. what I didn't know. And I'll, this is what I'm getting to. I didn't know this. I fucking, on your personal page, I made it public because I right. just don't care, right? right. You want to come and see what my life is? Congratulations. Let's sure. get wet, right? Sure. I say just as much weird shit on Facebook as I do here, and that's my personal page. Um, I also have a fan page, all that shit. What I didn't know is you can follow people's personal pages. So you don't have to be a friend. You can just click follow them? Yeah. Oh, you knew that? Yeah. So I didn't know that, and there was a, there's a thing on the like the left hand side of the page. So I have five thousand friends, that's which is your max you can't have anymore. I have six thousand and forty five followers who just follow the personal page just to see what happens, I guess. That's wild. That's cool for you. But that's that's crazy to me. Where it's like but I'm happy for you. Yeah. But it's weird, right? <laughs> no. Why is that weird? Anyways, <laughs> here's what I'm saying to you. If you what start are you posting saying? Christmas shit <laughs> mm-hmm. this fucking early, mm-hmm. what are you gonna do? Probably unfriend you. Ooh, burn, sick burn. Yeah. Watch out, guys. Yep. Wow. Yep. I do not want to see wow. stockings up. I don't want to see your dogs dressed up as Santa. Um, I don't want to see elves in your front yard. I don't want to see any of that shit until the day after Thanksgiving. I'll, the day after Thanksgiving is fine. I'm fine with that. I'm a. Little- I'm a little more lenient about it, guys. I'm not. You're a little teapot. <laughs> I'm. Um, uh. You're dumb, first of all. <laughs> Secondly, <laughs> a you're dumb, and two, um, I don't care. I just, f- for me personally, yeah, saddens me. Well. And I, I hear my dad coming through me when he's like. These goddamn commercial holidays, right? They just, yeah. as soon as they can get you buying stuff, yeah. they will. And I think black far- f- farty, <laughs> farty deals. Black people farting is not. Black Friday, Friday. farty deals yeah. have already started. Oh, uh, for the, uh, have they? I don't know, but it just keeps getting early and early, remember? Yeah, it does, it does, yeah. It does. Yeah, where it's like, I think it's the. On Thanksgiving now. So, like, don't even have Thanksgiving. Just go shopping. No, just go shopping. So um, fucking stupid. Everybody knows Thanksgiving is for eating copious amounts of food, drinking. Drinking, So you cooking. black out, cooking, and then watching football all day. If you're not doing that, you're not living your life right. So, And we're sad for you. Yeah. Um, I think Tiff- is Tiffany coming over for Thanksgiving? Um, I, I would love for her to. I think she is actually. Uh, Dan said something to me last night about it. So yeah, he was. Yeah, I mean, pressure's on now. We got a lot confirmed. of people coming over for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Don't f it up. Well, I think I'm gonna go with some tried and trues and not really um, try anything new. Which I tried. You're stuff smoking new. a turkey. That's new. Yeah, but that's, that's the I'm centerpiece. Gonna you, I'm gonna tell you something. That's the easiest way to do it. All right. Uh, a lot of people wrote in after after that show and they just said, hey. You get some tips for Jesse. Yes. And, and if they you were like, decide we, to check Facebook, they're on there. Um, yes, I did. And they, uh, a lot of people have used their Traeger. Uh, recently, like, did a, um, one of our listeners did a dry run, like, did a turkey, just like middle of the week. Mm-hmm. And turned out perfect. Best turkey they ever had, just like I fucking suspected. All so, right. very excited about that. All um, right. No cranberry sauce. I go no cranberry sauce. I'm opposed. Don't so, tell my mom that. Uh, she loves cranberry sauce. So I, I hate the cranberry mold. Look. I don't hate it. I look, just, if she wants it, I'll do it. It's I'm sour. Just saying, it gets I in the way of the other don't, stuff. I don't like it. Yeah. Uh, and listen, like I said, you need it because turkey is famously dry, but my turkey this year will not be, so I'm going to tell you right now you won't need it. Yeah. I want uh, some good stuffing. And uh, stuffing's huge. I'm gonna I do the same one on. as last year. That was really good. Was it? I don't remember it. Okay. Uh. Well. Yeah. I thought your dad made stuffing last year. No, my dad made what I told him to make, and I gave him the recipe for everything. Okay. So don't tell me my dad made something. Well, everything my dad made, I told him to make. Okay. 
Uh, look, it's your kitchen. <laughs> we get it, chef. Yes, yeah, chef. I'm sorry, chef. No, yeah. chef. No, I mean, I'm not going to have a sous chef. I'm not going to have any assistance. So it's going to be rough. <sighs> I'm going to have to go with some like slow cooking crock pot casserole type stuff. I might hit up that uh, Ukrainian dwarf. See if she can get in the mix. She's 30. She's 16. So She's 30. So she can help you out with all that stuff. She probably have her period right in the middle of Thanksgiving. Um, <laughs> that was what they said on the show, Jesse, that she was having periods and hiding them. I, uh, I hate to, to keep bringing this up, but anymore. you know, I am. I am. Uh, breaking news: RBG missed the Supreme Court argument today with uh, an illness. Is that the DACA thing? Did no, she missed or I, I was it? Just... I, I don't know. Oh, okay. They're not saying what it is, but oh, okay. uh, look, everything is you know whatever the impeachment thing is right now. So they're kind of just pushing this down of oh, like, oh, hey, let's not forget. Let's not l- remind you that uh, she's a four-time cancer survivor. Yeah. This, how is she still alive at this? She's 86. Is she alive, though? She is alive, I think. No, she was at a thing. She actually gave a speech. Oh. Um, but uh, <laughs> What's the point of this story? That was in August. Okay. Um, the point of the story is this, like, so she they was keep, sick or she wasn't sick? She is now. So she oh, missed, okay, she missed okay, this court okay. thing today. Okay, because she was sick. Yes. All right, and right. like, oh, it's just, a, it's just a stomach bug. No, she's had cancer four times. Dude, so. at her age, stomach bug? Get your affairs in order. Here's, okay. Here's, why, here's, why, here's order. why I bring this up, right? Yeah. What if, and I'm going, I'm going off the rails here, which would melt down the country melt down our computers what if she fucking died during this impeachment trial i don't know how much could you imagine the supreme court is not a part of it It, no but you pick the nomination so like you're gonna pick the judge as soon as they die you pick that you pick a judge Mm -hmm. and then they go through that trial remember kavanaugh's right imagine going back to back with impeachment and then a new person that trump trump appointed the entire country would probably burn down at that point the media would lose their shit also do you know how much of a deflection that would be from the impeachment thing if you're replacing a supreme court judge during this Mm. oh my god Mm. if hillary dude if hillary was in office right now Mm -hmm. she'd have her iced and just be like dude i want to pick somebody else I'll I'll change this. Oh yeah, yeah, you want to change yeah, the story yeah, in this na- narrative? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Could yeah, you imagine yeah, if that would yeah, ha- I, yeah. look? And I don't wish anybody to die, so don't think that at home. All I'm saying is this: if it did happen right now, you had a good run. No, well, but during today's political climate, could you imagine the fighting that would go on? I don't even know right. where that would end. Oh my gosh, that would be. Banana dick. Really? I'm um, speaking of Canada uh, of uh, Kavanaugh, though. There, there was a an interesting article about like how the media is treating this Epstein thing, and I know we talked about it on Drinking Bros. Um, you know, it seemed like Rogan was kind of the one who has been pushing for this Epstein thing of like, hey, just check into it. Epstein didn't kill himself. Okay. And then everybody else is doing the memes. Obviously, mm-hmm. we've posted a few on Drinking Bros and all that other shit. We've done some shows about it. Um, but they were like, you know what's weird? The media just buried this story at, right after he died, right? Yep. Hasn't said anything about it. No investigations, no nothing. And they were like, you know, he's a fucking pedophile. Yeah. But Kavanaugh, gang rapes mm. people. Remember they were calling him a rapist, a gang rapist? Yeah. That story went on forever. They buried him and his entire family. Yeah. And then this, they're just like, the Epstein thing, they're like, meh. And I think the girl that accused him was a pawn in their fucking bullshit as well. So I think they both got fucking ruined. Crazy, man. The two of them. Do you uh, know what I mean? I think that fucking chick, like, to me, uh, I don't remember what well, it was. If you, believe, what happened if with you the fucking... believe that it was Pelosi, you know what I mean? Oh, if yeah. you believe that there were some dirty politics involved, then you have to believe that she was a pawn as well. Yeah. I think and she was paid. whether she wanted to go all the way through with it or not, they fucking forced her to. Yeah. So listen, I think she but was paid. that was a shit show, spectacle. Yeah. I'm Crazy. Ma- Epstein. Ma- meh. 
Imagine that. I guess he killed himself. I if don't know. RBG goes down during the middle of this, holy shit. Uh, hold on to your butts. That would be nuts, dude. Nuts, bro. And if I'm Trump's people, you know. Look, Hillary's killed hundreds of people. Say what you will about Trump. I don't know if he's killed anybody. Yet. I don't think he's killed anybody yet. But so. if you're if you're going to have someone, now is probably the time for a nice distraction. I'm like that. sorry. Are you? I just want to make sure. Nope, definitely not, Jesse. Definitely not. Um, I don't want anyone to die, and I want that on record. However, you aren't. If somebody uh, somebody else is in the middle of something crazy, and you know whatever, um, nothing I can do about it. But uh, it's something to watch out for. When I read this story, that's the first thing I thought today, where I was like, oh, oh, boy. Yeah, boy. Um, it would switch real quick, because you need the House to get involved in that. Mm-hmm. So what are they going to do? Impeachment and a election of a judge? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> chaos. You know I love the chaos. I live for it. I fucking live for it. Meh. Meh. Nope. All right. Um, are you using the TikTok, by the way? No, I'm not. A, a grown woman, so I do not use Seeing TikTok. Seeing that pop up more and more. Like I said, I've used it before. Um, you have? So here's what happened. Um, a bunch of people hit me up when I was doing, uh, if you follow my Instagram, at stjames, stjames. I'll make a, some weird late night videos on there. Mm-hmm. You know, I do a lot of impressions. They were like, hey, man. Do you know where this really does well is on TikTok? And I was like, what the fuck is TikTok? I, I, originally, I thought it was an app for a child, for children of like singing. It is. It was. It is not anymore. Okay, They've turned it into it. a video app. Right. And uh, they were like, look, impressions and things like that do really well. Kind of like Vine, mm-hmm. sort of, I guess. But you can put like long form content on there. Mm-hmm. And I did one of uh, just to test it. And I think I, I'm not sure if I told the story. But anyways, I, I did Old Town Road. Mm-hmm. Uh, as Morgan Freeman, I want to take my horse in the old town roll. I want to ride till I can't no more. Mm-hmm. Maybe 15 second video and just put hashtag old town road, Morgan Freeman. Forgot about the app. Mm. Um, two months later, I went back to it at 45,000 views. I was like, Jesus Christ. I, I didn't have any followers, nothing. I just started an account and did it. More and more on Instagram, I'm seeing people repost TikTok videos, including myself. I reposted that Home Depot one, and it was from TikTok. Oh, my God. That video it's hilarious. made me laugh forever. So because of that and their watermarks with TikTok, a lot of people are using this, this app, and it's becoming huge. I just read that Instagram is literally launching its own 15-second video feature, and, and it's, everybody's like, this is TikTok 2.0. They just steal, every, like, because you're a video and a picture service, you can just steal every idea and just do it. Everything from Snapchat they've stolen at this point. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't run into anybody on a daily basis who says I use Snapchat. And if they do, if I do, they're in porn. Yeah. For, for real. Yeah. Like, we've had porn stars on the show, on Drinking Bros all the time, and they're like, yeah, follow my Snapchat, it's, it's rad, and I guess they get money for it or whatever, mm-hmm. and then the accounts get shut down and they open them up again. Um, but I don't know anybody normal life. Do you? Mm-mm. Who uses Snapchat? I just use them for the filters. Right. They and then, still have the superior filter. But then you put it on Instagram, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And I save it and put it on Instagram. So, I, you know, if you're TikTok at this point, learn from, learn from the mistakes of Snapchat. When Zuckerberg called you and offered you $10 billion over at Snapchat. Did Zuckerberg offer TikTok anything? Not yet. But if I'm TikTok, start to get on the horn with Zuckerberg and see what that number is and uh, figure it the fuck out, bro. Because uh, I can promise you, the guy who didn't take that money from Snapchat is now feeling the pain of mm. that. And I remember he bragged about not getting a 10 billy, but uh, here's where we are, kids. And if I'm TikTok and I read this story that just dropped, well, I'm calling Zuck on line one. Hey! Time's up, TikTok. You want to make an offer Time's on this, up. or what do you want to do? Because we want to get out of here. Um, but yeah, um, a lot of people are getting into all this fucking content. Bleacher Report is finally getting into content. I did an interview with them 
two years ago to the day almost um, for Army Navy. And uh, I said, hey, man, these are huge. Why don't you have a podcast or other behind the game? Now they're trying to catch up. Good luck chasing Barstool on that one. But uh, they're, now they're getting into the game. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, how many times do you think we're going to hear the word bombshell this week? Over, under. Bombshell? Or smoking oh, gun. For the Oh, yeah. No, it'll be smoking gun and quid pro quo, <laughs> which I <laughs> cannot hear that fucking phrase. Just say it in English. Yeah, no, you got to say quid you pro quo. You have to say quid pro quo. Yeah. Quid pro quo. Yeah. Smoking gun. That was the smoking gun. It's, it's quid, pro gun. quid pro quo. Uh, that, I think you're going to hear a lot of those this week, and I, I pity you. I'm not, I'm not going to watch any of it, to be honest with you. Like I, I won't watch one lick of this, this whole goddamn thing. Uh, I won't do it, James. You can't make me. Uh, I don't want to. Let's get to the uh, revolution. No, we are doing a crime. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, you kept being on your fucking bullshit. I was like, hello. Damn, we son. I didn't know you had a crime fucking, corner. We have real news. We've got real hard hitting news. Damn it, James. That made my day. I needed a crime corner today. Thank you. Do it. Thank you. Do it. Crime corner. Crime corner. Crime corner. Yes. It's brought to you, brought to me by Franco, Ooh. Detective Franco Melendez. That sounds famous, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah. It's a great name. Sounds like he uh, was a serial killer or some type of... Uh, Yes, sea captain, a Melendez brother. Yeah, like yeah. maybe like that. That like the oh, we remember that old sea captain Franco Melendez uh, who found that river in Iowa. <laughs> where you're like, he discovered that. That was Franco Melendez. That was Franco Melendez. Yeah, that was his beat. Yeah, I, I like that name. It's famous. Sounds like a famous name. Cool. So a bucket of hot diarrhea was randomly <laughs> poured. <laughs> James, you don't, you don't. <laughs> Fast. Listen, guys. You don't, you don't fast read into that. Listen, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking forward. I'm trying to plan like a trip to California soon, right? Yeah. Thinking about like maybe spring break or something with the kids. Uh huh. Um. So, and then I read this story. A bucket of hot diarrhea was randomly poured on a woman by a homeless man. Um. <laughs> It, <laughs> okay, so uh, Van Van T Tassel is that a full name or a last name? I don't know. Nobody okay. knows. Yeah, no, no, no way to check it. So Heidi, her name's Heidi Van Tassel. There we go. She was parked in Hollywood after having a pleasant evening out with friends. It's happened in Los Angeles. That's what I'm saying. I'm planning my trip yeah. to California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the the in my mind, my hometown. My love, <laughs> Los Angeles, Hollywood, is a lot different than what it actually is and what it's becoming, right? Sure. So, uh, so she she was out with friends, which I would totally do out yep. out out with friends, going to her car after going to dinner at an authentic Thai restaurant. Ah. Can't think of which one it is, but I'm sure it's someplace that we yeah, know. It's Authentico. It's Authentico Thai restaurant. And suddenly, a man randomly pulled her out of her car, dragged her out to the middle of the street, okay, and dumped a bucket of feces on her head. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Now, her statement, uh, if you guys are squeamish at all, turn down the volume. So her statement was, it was diarrhea, it was hot liquid, I was soaked, it was coming from off my eyelashes into my eyes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Paramedics who came to treat me said, there was so much of it on me that it looked like the man was saving it up for a month. Oh, Who, you know, the thing that gets me is the eyelash one. Yeah, you were because particular. you're just like, P just please don't get it in my eyes, right? And you're like yeah. opening up, and it's coming from your eyelashes into your eyes. Yeah, homeless man, liquid pulled. So he, he diarrhea pulled her out of out of the car, out of the car. So she was just getting into her car. Does it say the address? No, it says it's in Hollywood. Um, I bet it's fucking coy. And so I'm trying to, th an authentic tie? 
Where mm-hmm. else? On Sunset in Hollywood? It's got to be right there. There's a lot of homeless people right there, too. It was all inside my car because it was so much. He just kept pouring it and splattering it all over me. Oh, my God. I mean, my God. What do you do with that? What do you do? It's so traumatic. What do you do with your car? That stink isn't going to leave your car either, your clothes. I mean, the amount of shots that you have to have and, like, the, I mean. Oh, God damn it, man. The shit is shit literally is in your eyes Yep. of who knows god knows oh god that is a that's a horrific story the man who attacked her was identified in court records as jer blessings yeah g-e-r-e i don't know jerry hey jer Jer? hey jer jer blessings was charged with battery and definitely didn't give her any blessings you know he was a uh, he's a transient with uh, schizophrenic and psychotic disorders, obviously. But my God, that's uh, this is the most thing that this is the thing that Joker made me think about is people okay. like this that just get moved through the system, ignored, like made to be like, oh, he's he's crazy, he's homeless, blah blah blah. Like, don't look at him, don't if you just don't make eye contact and that's the most thing that i got from the joker was that sense that he was just like no one would even talk to him or look at him yeah Uh. and he was just like in so much pain right so there's a couple things to this story but i mean is there the eyelashes is the main thing to me was it a white girl i don't know heidi van tessel they don't have pictures of anything so um What's her, what's, what's her name? Spell it real quick. I'm just see if I can find her. Van Tassel. Heidi. Heidi. Van. Van Tassel. T A S S E L. Shit, it popped up right away. I wonder if we have, what if we have mutual friends and shit. I mean, I don't know. What do you, what are you seeing? Yeah. Because we're new. Yeah, she's white. Um, I found her really quickly. Hmm. Uh, she's pretty. That's uh. Oh, God damn it, man. Oh, my God. This is the, this is the beauty of this. Yeah, this happened with this, the squirrel person, remember? Mm-hmm. Um, somebody s- tagged her in this and said, uh, ha, 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 what the fuck? Of course, something so weird would happen to someone with the same name as me. Now my Instagram messages are going off like crazy. Weird little confusion there, folks. I did not get shit on, she says. The person that you found? Yes. Okay. How many Heidi Van Tassels are there? for? Uh, for Clearly more than one. Christ's sakes. Okay, here we go. Here's the real one I found. Uh, Yeah, man. This is a normal white girl. Kind of looks like uh, Shannon Doherty now. Okay. White woman. So... Oh my God, this one, this is really funny. This Heidi Van Tassel though on, on Facebook is just posting all of the messages she keeps getting from people. Are, are you the woman who was attacked by the homeless man in LA? Are you the person that was shit on? If you need any assistance with medical bills though, let me know. If it's not you, I'm sorry. There is good people in the world then. All right, shit. Literally, Yeah, sorry. I mean, it'd be nice to find the, re- the right one and help her, but yeah. Well, there is a picture of her, and I'm sure you can find her pretty easily. Okay. Um, oh, God. <laughs> Boy, that is, that is a lot. That is a lot to take in, Jesse. Van Tassel also said he doesn't need jail time. He needs mental health care. I have empathy, be- I have empathy for him because he needs help. I I would not have the same jail is not gonna, feelings towards that at all. Jail is not going to help him though. Jail it's a bigger it's a bigger issue. It's Mentally, it would help me if somebody dumped a month's worth of shit that they were saving up all over my face and body and ripped me out of a car and then it was inside my vehicle. Mm-hmm. Uh, that would help. Mm-hmm. That would help me personally. But they just get processed out. Like they just get go through the process. Put right back. Even that into process the- is miserable. You know, because they usually chain you to a bench for a few hours. So Mm -hmm. cool. Even that I would just knowing the process, I'd be fine with that. 
diarrhea in your eyelashes, Jesse. And you're I saying, know. what would you do? What would I do? You love your eyelashes oh more my than God, any I would human on the planet. Freak out. But again, it is such it's a bigger problem. And that's how it is in LA. There's just fucking But they're crazy not doing anything about the problem. People everywhere. But they're not doing anything about it. So what are you going to What do they do? I mean, what do you do? Someone sm- someone smarter than me must have some kind of plan. Well, I mean, look here in this city they're saying no, you can't like, get the fuck out of here. No, you can't what? Be homeless. Can't live on the streets, you can't sleep after a certain hour like you're going to have to start imposing something. You know, mm. look, Brad Pitt, we talked about this story of him going in and looking for that, looking for money for that art gallery. It was mm-hmm. nine and a half million or whatever it is. Right. You could open up some more shelters with that instead of hanging art up. Right. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, but they don't give a fuck there because everything they preach. Then they actually they actually have to try to live it. Yeah. Now they're living it and it's not sweet. So yeah. uh, you get dookied on, you know. You're trying to have some tie, and then all the tie ends up on you. Oof. You know? Just a whole fucking bucket of... Oh, God. Duke. Oh, God. Yeah, James. Okay. God damn it, man. Moving that, on. That's crazy. I mean, that is absolutely crazy. Crazy. Um, fuck me. That's a hard one to get through. Sorry. It's weird. Like I would rather like the, the that swan that got kicked by the karate guy in in Florida. Like that, I was okay with that. Oh, sorry. This one really affects me because I can smell it. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Have you ever go into a bathroom at a bar where somebody has you know toilets stopped up for days, like four or five days? Even that's horrific. Imagine a month's worth of that all over your fucking person. Yeah. Do you have a revolutionary figure? Heidi Van Tassel. That's okay. that's the first person I've ever heard of that has been saved up a bucket full of shit and then been dumped on. I am sorry, Heidi, that happened to you. Sorry, Heidi. Uh, that's almost like the the first person who was tarred and feathered. I don't know who that person is either, but when I heard it for the first time, remember as a kid, you read about that in history, and you're like, oh, man, they were tarring and feathered people. Kind of don't really think about it. Then you're like, oh, wait, it's hot tar being dumped over you. Imagine that burning through your skin and trying to get tar off of it. No, you die. That's the point of it. Well, you've, a lot of people live through it because you look, you're running away. You don't, you, you, tar is hard to, it's a hard pour. That usually stays in. Now, diarrhea, that's real quick. That's coming out real fast. And I've never heard anybody get a, a month's worth of shit dumped on them, so... Heidi Van Tassel, I'm, I am sorry, but that is, you were the first probably person to do that uh, on accident. I'm sure there's some other people who are sexually into things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, man, you know, I, it's got to be coy, right? That's the only Thai place right there. I have no idea, dude. Whew. Parking's not easy in that, that area either, so it's just like... Finding a park, I go through the whole thing of it, the whole background of it. finding a parking space, all of it. You know, you want to have a couple yinglings sure. with your your pad thai mm-hmm. uh, with chicken, and then boom. I go shrimp, but yeah, yeah, five pounds worth of, of of diarrhea ends up all over your person and and inside your car. Yeah, uh, yikes! Sorry, Heidi. Um, I've never heard anything like that, and I'm really fucked up by it. I think we should just end the show right now. <laughs> I think we should all return to our homes. Uh, hug the people that are most important to you in your life right now uh, and tell you you love them. Because if this happened to me, I don't know what I would do. Right. I don't know what I would do. Yeah. <laughs> you would not be able to handle it. I would, f- I would fucking kill that guy. She handled it. I would have killed She's that guy. She's revolutionary. Yeah, well, I would have fucking killed that guy. Cool. That homeless would have turned into lifeless real quick. Um, I'd have caught a body on that. And I don't think any fucking jury would ever. You would have beat that case for sure. Prosecute you, yeah. What happened? Oh, a month's worth uh, of shit was poured on you? It was in your eyelashes? In your car? Yep. You're and then not, it was like dripping, guilty. dripping from your eyelashes into your eyes? I'd represent myself too. I wouldn't even hire a lawyer for that. Nah, wouldn't have to. Yep. Choke the fucking life out of that guy. Probably take an eyeball out. Take that home with me. 
For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is the, the Duke Aleutian. Uh, good night, everyone. <laughs> good night. Gross. <laughs>